Okay. Who brings a laptop on a camping trip? Hey everybody, so after posting that last video about all the stuff I uh, carry around with me, uh, I was asked, what do I do with my bag when I go on a plane, and then what do I do with it when I'm like camping or uh, roaming around the city? So here's how that works. I love this bag, but it's definitely too big to put in an overhead compartment, so it gets checked. But before I check this bag, I take a few key things out. So before I get on a plane, I take all of this out of my green bag and put it inside my nice uh, day pack orange bag over here. And I use that as my carry-on. So essentially what I've got here is my entire vlogging system. Uh, my phone, obviously my passport, my wallet, um, and then my journal and my pen, my important documents that I, I can't really get around without. Um, my rain jacket in case uh, the weather's bad. A uh, little hat water, and just a toothpaste and toothbrush and deodorant just so I can be a bit more comfortable. Essentially, all I've got on this table is things that if the worst case happens and the airline loses my luggage, uh, I can keep moving forward and uh, at least have like a base level of comfort. Um, even if I have to buy like all new clothes or uh, you know, I lose all my food or whatever, this is enough to keep going. So that goes in my little orange bag and then I get in the plane. Carrying all this with me on a plane or on a bus also has the added benefit that not only is it safe and with me, but I can get some work done on the ride. So that's pretty handy. There's everything packed up, ready to go. Nice and slim. Definitely gonna fit in the overhead. You know, super convenient. When I'm exploring a city, I always try to go to the hostel first. Uh, that way I can put this giant green guy or all the stuff that's in my orange bag uh, in their luggage room right away. Uh, usually they have locks, but not always. Um, I try to put all of this because it's, you know, clearly the more expensive things either behind the desk or in a locker. And uh, then it's pretty much safe and sound and I can go see the city. Most like main stations for like trains and buses and uh, most airports have lockers that you can rent to. Uh, if you're only there for a little while, it makes sense just to lock your stuff up and then go see the city and grab your stuff again if you're only there for a short amount of time. The best case scenario though is to be staying with a friend because then you can put all your stuff in their apartment or their house or wherever they live and then not only is it locked but you can 100% trust that it's going to be safe. My favorite part of this question though is what do I do when I'm camping? because I definitely don't take my laptop when I go camping and I'm not bringing an extra complete pair of clothes as well as like my washing bag and all the little things. So, uh, <laughs> I mean, basically I just, I bury them. Remember that orange dry sack from the last video I made? You know, here's it's time to shine. Literally mark it as a durable dry sack, 35 liters. Essentially, I just take my bag, so this is just a good example. This has all my electronics in it. Obviously, I bring my cameras with me when I go camping. That's where some of the most beautiful pictures are taken. Most of them, actually. And you can literally just fire it right in here. It's 35 liters, so it's really, really big. Surprisingly large, actually. And then I put, you know, whatever clothes I'm not bringing camping in here. It's ironic because I'm stuffing in like my trail pants while I'm wearing my jeans. Usually I'd be doing it the other way around. You know, put your sweater in there. You know, put your rock climbing shoes in there, sandals. Like there's really a lot of space in here. Try and get as much air out as you can. Roll it up, clip it shut. And then there you have it. So I take this just the way it is and I find a place in the woods. I go somewhere that's like maybe uh, 20 meters in some random direction. Uh, use some kind of landmark that I'm gonna remember the look at, but also nothing that's so interesting that other people are ever gonna go there by chance. Then I find some sticks and I put this on top of the sticks in case a bunch of water comes so it doesn't sit in the puddle. Put the bag on top and bury it in leaves or mud or sticks or under a dead tree, anything to keep it out of sight and out of mind. And then I go enjoy my camp, you know, hike around, come back at the end of the hike, uh, pick it up and away I go. I also like to leave a little note saying who I am, how long I expect to be gone and asking people to please not steal my bag. And that's what I do with all my stuff when I'm out adventuring. I hope this helps. And uh, if you have any more questions, just ask them in the comments and I'll make you a video.
I'm Ben Feltmate. Let's see you in the next adventure. And this has got my laptop and everything in it. Picked a spot with, it's out of the way, but it's got a couple landmarks like this bench and this brook. And I'm just gonna go into the woods about 20 steps. I'm gonna build a quick little bridge for any water that comes over so it doesn't sit in a puddle. Goes right on top. And that's where my laptop's going for the next night. I just grab a lot of leaves, just keep the orange down. I don't want any other curious hikers to find it. And if they do, I've left a little note on it. Rescued this from where I buried it in the woods. It's uh, marked it as a dry bag. I bought it because it's supposed to be a dry bag. And it is bone dry inside the dry bag. Well done, Outdoor Research.